North American news. I'm Dave from PlayHerdon.com. You can go to PlayHerdon.com slash shop for all your herding equipment needs, including Star Hurley's from Kilkenny. We're continuing our bulk discount, so get in touch to order for your cup today. In this episode, we're taking a look at what happened in July of 2022. Here are a few updates on new clubs across the USA in July. South Carolina's Columbia Herding Club had their first match against Augusta GAC in Georgia. Arizona's Herding Club of Phoenix competed in their first sevens tournament in Flagstaff. California's LA Herding Club had their first friendly match against St. Peter's in San Diego. And lastly, Hawaii now has a Herding Club. A former Liberty Gales Kamogi player is setting up a Herding Club on the island of Oahu and is looking for new players. Here's Kolo from Hawaii Hurling Club to share her story. Aloha guys, Kolo here, founder of Hawaii Hurling. I am formerly of the Liberty Gales, New York, New Jersey. I played for them for about six to seven years and I moved out here and unfortunately there is no hurling until now. So I'm definitely looking for new recruits and I can't wait to see how the sport is going to be loved, played and uh, really just progressed here. In New York, Rockland GA were featured on American TV. CBS 2 News featured a segment discussing the club's history and how Harden has enriched the local community. It's fun! It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Because it's so fast! For 50 years, children have played here, learning an ancient sport and embracing Irish culture. It's called hurling. Even at this age, they play with spirit and speed. In Wisconsin, Madison GAA hosted the first ever draft-style Kamoki tournament on July 23rd. Inspired by Montana's draft hurling tournament, their aim is to help grow the sport of Kamoki in their local area. 35 players from five different clubs travel to participate, including from Milwaukee, St. Louis, Denver, and Indianapolis. In Halifax, Nova Scotia, the Eastern Canadian Championships were met with the most Irish style of weather. The championship was hosted by the Halifax Gales and also included clubs from Quebec City and Montreal. In Chicago, the largest Gaelic sports competition outside of Ireland took place at the end of July. The Continental Youth Championships began in 2004 and changes its location every single year. This year, over 1,400 children aged 7 to 18 competed over four days for more than 20 clubs across North America. In Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell Championships were held in mid-July for children aged under 7 to under 18. Over a thousand athletes from 90 teams competed in Gaelic football, Harden and Komogi. And they even got local news coverage for the event. Glenside Gaelic Club hosted the 2022 Liberty Bell Cup. The festival featured iron-based competitions with Gaelic football and hurling. July's Photo of the Month goes to Galway Hurling Club Boston. Galway Boston was founded in 1909 and is the oldest hurling club in the USA. These photos are from a final that they won, making them the 2022 Northeast Senior Hurling Champions. July's Video of the Month goes to the Calgary Chieftains, who recruited some Disney princesses to try Komogi for the first time. What you've got to do is you've got to run that. You can do it, Snow. Snow White's got some Irish blood. Your turn? Yes. Okay. You can go, Gabby, if you want to. Go. Oh. Woo! Oh, okay. Three, two, three, one, two, three, six! July's Club of the Month goes to Cleveland GAA, who took over our social media accounts in July. Cleveland GAA was originally a Gaelic football club, but have recently expanded to include Hurden and Komogi. During their takeover week, Cleveland GAA shared the lead up to their Hurden Blitz, some player interviews, and their historic Komogi win against Pittsburgh. I mean, to me, hurling's, you know, one of the best sports in the world. I actually didn't know when I first moved over to America that they played Gaelic football and Gaelic games in general. I thought, okay, I'm moving to America, I'm probably gonna have to give this up, you know? It turns out it's probably bigger even. And I started playing and really just kind of fell in love uh, with the sport. It's kind of um, like a field hockey and lacrosse combination. A lot of people working hard for making this happen, so definitely one of the, the greatest things I've ever done. So everyone's really rooting for everybody else, so I think that's pretty unique. Thank you so much to Shannon for leading the takeover, and if you haven't already, make sure to go follow Cleveland GA. I'll leave a link to all their details below. If your US or Canadian club would like to be featured, reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook. And that's it for this episode of Hurling in North America News. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need any hurling equipment, go to playhurling.com shop for hurls, helmets, slitters, and anything else you may need. And I'll see you guys in the next video.